Royal Speedman, that's it, got away, and Riverside Boy is slowly away, and Chatham has refused to start at all, and Romany King has gone off, and a red flag is being raised, and it is, in fact, a false start. It's a false start, and interim limb uh, has gone uh, right over to the left. Several, several of them have. They've gone on the hurdle course, and party politics also. Well, what a, what a tragic uh, uh, start for Keith Brown in his last uh, dispatch of the Grand National. None of them have got all that far. One, one or two down at the first fence, but being uh, uh, eased up without any problems. Won't be gone long is down there. That's give us a buck to the right. Rollinson's Jewels with the sheepskin noseband. Captain Dibble just turning. Carl Villa Howe turning to come back to give us a buck nearest to us in the check colours. This is Tark Coburn's best with the green sheepskin noseband. And a new formula and young uh, Judy Davis. All uh, a new formula. Formula, formula one I should say. And Judy Davis. They're all uh, Popping back from that, that's Laura's bow in the center. David's dukey. So that that was the full start. And you'll see a replay. You'll see that uh, Chatham is left absolutely flat-footed. No chance, but what really caused it was the fact that uh, they, the tape did not uh, rise properly. That's why they had to be called back because doubtless uh, one, or, one or two may, may have had their, their nose too close to it at the time it was released. So that inevitably uh, led to a false start being declared and the runners being recalled, I must say, with uh, really commendable speed. Garrison Savannah walking right there. Formula One, Zeta's lad, Quirinus behind Quirinus. It's Howe Street, he's the grey, with direct on his far side. That's the goose nearest to us, joyful noise. Then Car Villa Howe in those uh, hearts, and then Leighton Talent. And, and uh, Leighton Talent was travel over. David Stukey, Farm Week. There's party politics. Giant party politics must be wondering what this is all about. This didn't happen last year, he said. We got off uh, nice and quick. And I had uh, quite an easy time of it because he's a great big strapping horse and he just stepped over these fences. He really made them look like dolls' brooms. And uh, party politics is the favourite, clear favourite, six to one. Romany King sevens. Uh, Zeta's lad is on eight to one, nine to one. Royal Athlete, nine to one. Also Garrison Savannah, ten to one. Captain Dibble won't be gone long. Is sixteens and also give us a buck. Laura's bow twenty to one and on twenty two to one. On the other hand, twenty five to one buck. Now they're being called in again. Riverside boy and Royal Speedmaster. And Sean Metal once again a little bit behind the others. Chatham getting in this time, being held. That's Judy Davis, 33. Leighton Talent, nearest to us, number 18. Rock de France. Far side, number 12. Lots of appeals from the riders because there are several that can't get in line. Chatham getting pretty fed up with it over on the far side as we see them. Here comes Quirinus, sheepskin nose band there, to just backing away now. Martin Pipe, uh, Chatham's trainer, is behind him there, encouraging him to get in and join him. But he's getting very mulish. And this noise from the crowd really getting getting one or two of them right on their toes. Royal Speedmaster still got to get in to join the others. He's currently out of picture. But uh, I doubt if Keith Brown will wait indefinitely. That's David Stukey spinning round. This is him nearest to us, Royal Speedmaster, with the press curve. Being led in by Jerry Scott now. And from 
moment it looked as though Keith Brown had him. The quick young there away. Oh, this time it and once again the tape that there's there's snag on the tape and it's a recall. It's a it's a recall. It was caught round uh, Richard Dunwoody's neck. The tape it won't be gone long. They've been recalled, but I but the majority don't realise that it is a recall. They're going down to jump the first. They're going to. So it's Roebuck on the near side. Carl Villahow on the far side with Rowlandson's jewels. And uh, they're sure to be recalled, I would think. But over to John Hanmer. Well, at the first, the ones that have jumped it, that is. And meanwhile, over the second, Shaw Metal's in front of Carl Villahow. Then Rowlandson's jewels travel over has stopped. And they're coming to the open ditch. And... Sure metal it is who's over first from give us a buck and then on the near side Romany King stay on track session Ness and then on the other hand and then just in behind them the Goosa as we join Jim McGrath and it's sure metal who led over the fourth there as they all got over that one they're all continuing mistaken farm week is gone farm week on at that one Davis Dukey was badly balked as they go to the next one now and it's give us a buck up there in company with on the other hand and Car Villa how as they draw to it now from the Goosa but sure metal led over it on the inside out wider on the course then is the committee followed in behind them uh, by house street and further back in the field is Isha Ness as they travel down now towards beaches and on the inside it's sure metal is going to lead them over beaches on the inside give us a buck as out wider as they get over that one the leaders are all over pretty safely in fact they're all over there safely Davis Dukey just jumping it coming to the Fornaven fence now they're all continuing sure metal the leader by two lengths or so as he draws to it now from Howe Street then on the inside is Romany King very handy from give us a buck interim limb Ishines is behind them followed by Carvilla how the committee then stay on tracks the inside as they come to the canal turn next in the field that is uh, party politics is very handy as they go to the canal turn now and uh, sure metal let over it sure metal by a couple of lengths to Romany King interim limb the inside house street is out wide then Ishines followed next in the field by give us a buck as they go over Valentine's further back is Garrison Savannah fairly handy as they all get over that one okay then Royal Athlete as they go towards the 10th and we rejoin John Hanmer. I don't know why they're going on because it's got to be a void race. The starter's flag was up but it's sure metal out in front of Howe Street. Then interim lib travel over's gone there and right at the back is David Stukey as they come to the open ditch and Royal Athlete's gone as well and it's Howe Street out in front of Shaw Metal Carvella Howe, give us a buck Romany King, interim lib and Escher Ness and then comes the committee as they jump the 12th and Howe Street landed in the lead from Shaw Metal, give us a buck then on the inside Romany King and Carvilla Howe then Escher Ness, interim lib, the committee and they're followed by on the other hand Party Politics and Garrison Savannah and Laura's Bow on the outside and they're going now towards the 13th and Howe Street just in front as we join Peter O'Sullivan. Well here's one of the greatest sensations ever in the National there were nine horses still waiting at the start, Richard Dunwoody has still, still got the tape round his neck that he, uh, he got caught up in on uh, Won't Be Gone Long and officially it really cannot possibly be a race with the starter's flag still raised but Howe Street doesn't know that he's in the lead from Shaw Metal and coming to jump it clear Howe Street from uh, Shaw Metal Romany King just behind him then comes David's Dukey and Carl Villa Howe and give us a buck. And uh, this is the most amazing scene here with the crowd booing as they realize that several horses have had, nine horses have had no chance at all. And they're being waved past the chair. They're not going to jump in. It isn't. Well, they are going to jump it. They can't believe it. Our street lands in the lead. Shaw Metal nearly went. They're going to have to pull up when they get here. Surely, Our Street from interim live on his inside and give us a buck. Then Carvilla Howe and booze from the crowd as they jump the water. Right up there is Eshenet. And on it, they're being told not to go out in the country, but they can't believe it. They're going on. Mr. Ed has pulled up, but Howe Street is carrying on. Riverside Boy has pulled up, but Howe Street's going on from Shaw Metal. Interim Lib and Carvilla Howe. The, the crowd are, are booing. Director's been pulled up. Zeta's lad's been pulled up as well. 
Cap and Captain Dibble's been pulled up, and Garrison Savannah, and Party Politics. They've all been pulled up at the start. And now there's nobody to stop them by the look of it out in the country. Howe Street jumped it in the lead from Shaw Metal and Interim Lib and Escheness and Carl Villa Howe and the riders looking across at each other as if to say, what are we supposed to do now? Shaw Metal on the inside, Howe Street the grey. Then comes a Romany King in third. Interim Lib four on the inside as we they run down to the next and we rejoin John Hammer. Well, Shaw Metal's jumped what would have been the 19th, except it isn't a race. And Shaw Metal, the leader from High Street, Romany King still going, Carbella Howe give us a back in Trim Lib, and then the committee, and then comes Escher Ness, and High Street has fallen, and Shaw Metal has fallen, and still going at the back is Laura's bow, and the Bonanza boy, Joyful Noise, has uh, pulled up, and... Uh, Possibly the jockeys think that the people waving flags are demonstrators, and that's why they're going on. But let's join Jim McGrath at Beaches. Well, this absolute fast, they're still continuing here, and we can see eight of them on screen now as they come to Beaches. Give us a buck, goes right through it on the outside. Fortunately, they've got over it okay. Uh, they're realizing it, the riders here, they're they're slowing up to a virtual walk as they come towards the Foynaven fence. Romany King, Adrian Maguire having his first ride in the race on the inside. The committee, interim lib, Carvilla Howe, just on the outside has given us, in behind them, give us a buck. But they're all sensing something's wrong, but nobody's really game enough to pull up as they come towards the canal turn now. And the goose are out of the race there. Mistake by interim lib, but this absolute fast continue. Interim lib's uh, rider has been unseated. They come now towards Valentine's. And the leader, Romany King, on the inside of the committee. Then Carl Villahow, and behind them, give us a buck. On the other hand, Bonanza boys refused. But uh, they're continuing on. As uh, they go to the next, let's rejoin John Hammer. And this would be five out, and up in front it's Romany King, and the committee from Carvilla Howe on the other hand, and then give us a buck, and Escher Ness, and they're clear of Laura's bow, and those are the only ones, I think. And the committee led over the open ditch, four out, the committee from Romany King, then Carvilla Howe, give us a buck, on the other hand, Escher Ness, and Laura's bow, and this would be three out, and... Romany King and the committee took it together from Carvilla Howe. Then on the other hand is next with Give Us a Buck and they're followed by Escher Ness and they're clear of Laura's Bow and over to Peter O'Sullivan. Well, this is one of the greatest disaster in the history of the National because here are these heroic competitors preparing to come to the second last fence, believing that uh, the race is on. It cannot uh, possibly be an official race. Here, we have the two disputants, the committee on the near side, the sheepskin nose band, Adrian Maguire on the far side, on Romany King, Carl Villahau next being challenged by Escheness as they come to the second last fence. And it's Romany King and the committee, and these horses having an arduous race for nothing, but it cannot be a race. Escheness is making good progress in third place. At the final fence, Escheness comes to tackle the two who preceded him into that fence, and Escheness going away from the committee and Romany King as he races up towards the line. Of course, the, there were people on the course earlier, and uh, the riders thought that they were demonstrating, and so they didn't take any notice of those who tried to stop them. So as they race up to the line, in the national that surely isn't, Escheness is the winner. Second is Carl Villa Howe. Third is Romany King for the committee. And five is Give Us a Buck. Then come, on the other hand, and Laura's bow, and they are the only ones to have completed in the race that surely never was. So, an incredulous group of jockeys. There's Jamie Osborne, Leighton Talent there. Here's Keith Brown, the starter. And here is a bitterly, bitterly disappointed rider of Escheness, John White, who so nearly won the race, a proper race on the Zarevich, and having his eighth ride in the race today, 33-year-old John. And what a bitter, desperate disappointment for him.